All right, we're going to classify this triangle in the coordinate plane as equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. We saw in our um, vocab video that equilateral triangles have all three sides congruent, isosceles triangles have two congruent sides, and a scalene triangle will not have any congruent sides. So we need to know how long the sides of these triangles are. So we are going to find um, their side lengths using the distance formula. So first, let's find how long side xy is. So xy, um, we're going to go from x to y. I'm going to use these ordered pairs and plug them into the distance formula. So the square root of, we subtract our x's, so 5 minus 1, then we square it, plus subtract your y's, 8 minus 2 squared. When we simplify this, we are going to do our parentheses first. 5 minus 1 is 4. 8 minus 2 is 6 squared. Now we can go ahead and square those. 16 plus 36. And we get the square root of 52. So AB, not AB, XY is square root of 52. That's how long that side of the triangle is. All right, let's go ahead and find another side length, yz. So y to z, I'm going to use these ordered pairs into the distance formula. We have the square root of, subtract your x's, 5 minus 8 squared, plus subtract your y's, 8 minus 6. Then you're going to, 5 minus 8 is negative 3 squared. 8 minus 6 is 2. All right, negative 3 squared. Anytime you square a negative number in parentheses like that, it does turn positive. So 9 plus 2 squared is 4, and we're getting the square root of 13. So yz has a length of square root of 13. So, so far... This is not an equilateral triangle because these two sides are not congruent. This third side might be congruent to something else, so it's possible that we have isosceles, two congruent sides, but we'll have to, we'll have to find our third side and figure it out. So our third side is x z. We have the square root of, I'm going to subtract the x's from x and z, so 8 minus 1 plus subtract the y, 6 minus 2 squared. Square root of 8 minus 1 is 7. 6 minus 2 is 4. So we did the subtraction inside the parentheses first. Now we'll go ahead and square these. 7 squared is 49. 4 squared is 16. And then 49 plus 16 is the square root of 65. So do we have any congruent sides and they all have different lengths. When they all have different lengths like that, that makes this a scalene triangle. I'm running out of room. Oh, 